This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about changing the blade and cut pad on the guillotine XPC-17 paper cutter. Um, first thing you're going to do is remove this top crown. Um, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver for that. You just come around here and you... I've already removed them, but there's a couple of Phillips screws there and there's two more on the other side. With those removed, you can go ahead and remove this top crown. And the other um, tools you'll need to remove the blade are going to be your two and a half millimeter hex and your four millimeter hex. And it's good to have a, a flat screwdriver. Also, obviously, you need your uh, but your um, your blade holders or your blade lollipops. You'll also need those. And you'll need a five millimeter hex to remove the the cut pad. First thing you want to do is just turn your cutter on, I guess, and drop your blade down a few inches. It's easier access to that screw and the top screws. I'm going to. So the first thing you want to do, with all these um, blade screws tight, you want to make sure all these top ones are snug tight. These are the screws that push down the top of your blade, so with the blade in there that's in there already, you can make sure these are all tight. And it just needs to be snug tight. It's nothing real hard. That one's a little loose, actually. Okay. Well, with all those snug tight, you're going to want to um, take this one all the, the one all the way to the right out on the blade. With your four millimeter hex. With that out, you can go ahead and just re bring the blade back to the top all the way. And then now we're just going to um, remove the this one here, the second one over. And the second one over from the left. They both have these slots, open slots, and that's where you're going to be putting your tool, your blade change tools or lollipops. And one more here. Just one um, thing, just always keep in mind that even if you're replacing this blade because it's dull, these blades are still razor sharp even when they're not sharp enough to cut through big stacks of paper. So it's like a giant razor blade, so just be very careful anytime you're messing around this blade. Don't cut yourself. Well, you're just going to turn these in about three or four turns each. Maybe five, three, four, five turns. Um, and then just um, you're going to get the rest of them here. And we'll go ahead and um, pause this video while I remove um, this one and these two screws. And I'll save the last one, the middle one for last, and I'll show you why. Okay, I got the, the rest of the, the screws out except for the middle one. And on this middle one, you're going to want to need a second person to take this middle one out while you hold these lollipops. And basically just light pressure up is all you need. Okay, now with all, the, all of them out, you're just going to let this fall down on its own. You can wiggle it a little bit if you need to, but for the most part, it should just fall down on its own. And as it comes down, you're going to want to go to the left and even behind this, this um, metal bracket here a little bit. And then once it clears over to the right, it's cleared over to the right now, and you can just bring this forward and then just kind of bring it on out like so. And you'll have a workbench. You take this to a workbench somewhere. Lay it down flat on the workbench, and then you're gonna you're gonna have your new blade sitting next to it, and you're gonna remove these from this, and you just keep you know it's obviously the second hole over. You gotta remember that, and then you'll put these into your new blade. And since this is a new a new cutter with a new blade, I'm just gonna put it back into this. You can wipe your blade down with a rag, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It looks like this needs to be wiped down. It's got a little oil on it, but um, just keep it flat, and you can wipe it down. Just be careful. Okay, we got the blade. It's, it's clean. I just wiped it down, make sure there's no grease or oil on it. And that's what you do on a new blade. Sometimes they have a little oil film on them. Once you get your lollipops in your new blade, you're just going to reverse the process. You're going to come in here, start maybe from the right, and come in to the left and go behind us. These blades... They're very strong metal, but they'll chip if you hit it against metal. So if you bump this against metal, you're going to chip your blade. So you don't want to 
bump that sharp edge of that blade against anything. So just go nice and slow and be very careful. And then come on in here to the right, all the way in. And now you can come to the right and line up these. You see you got these slots here, so line them up behind it. And, all the, and then just kind of wiggle it, make sure you're all the way up. And then get have a second person put in that middle screw. Just snug it tight. Okay, and that's with the light pressure up. I was holding it, making sure it's all the way up. Again, it'd be pushing against these these screws that you snug down. That way, the blade will be in the same height as the previous one. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove these lollipops, and then we're gonna um, finish putting in the rest of the screws, except for maybe that one. Go ahead and pause this. Okay, I um, went ahead and put in the rest of the screws. One thing you may want to pay attention to when you when you have the lollipops in here, all the way up, but you can also, there's very slight amount of play back and forth. So you, before you put the center one in and tighten it down, you may have to shift it one way or another to make sure all the holes are, you can look down here and make sure the holes are lined up so these will go in nice and easy. And in my case it was, but in your case, you could potentially have it just a hair this way or a hair that way and the holes might be, it might be hard to get one of the screws in. So just before you put the screw, center one in, tighten up, as you got some up pressure, you can do some minor shifting back and forth to make sure all the holes are lined up. Okay, I got all these in, they're all snug tight. So now, now I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit to get that last one. Okay, they're all snug tight. Now I'm just going to go down the line and um, make sure they're all nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to, let's just go ahead and pause. I'm going to go again down the line and make sure. Okay, I just went down the line back and forth a few times, just snug, tighten them down a little bit at a time until they're all pretty tight. Um, we're just going to bring it back to the top now. Okay, and that's pretty much it for your blade, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Or We're going to get to the electronics compartment now to change this um, cut pad. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn, unplug the machine from power is what you want to do. Because you, if, there's, even if you turn it off, there's still some power in here. And if you drop like something metal in there, drop something metal in here, with it, even with it turned off and still plugged in, there could be some power going through it and you could short something out. So anyway, with the machine unplugged, we're going to go in here and take this off. A lot of times you can just pop this forward. And it will come off, but um, if you can't, you can get a flat screwdriver and put it between this this um, piece, this bracket here and your table, and just kind of twist twist it and pop it forward. Uh, and do that on the other side as well. Do it a couple times, back and forth. You can pull forward a little bit too if you need to, but that's pretty much it. Once you get it a little bit, it's easy. It usually, just slide straight out. Then and just set it to the show on the shelf somewhere behind you. Okay, and then basically this is here. It's, most of them are pretty tight. Every once in a while you'll get one that you can just take out without even loosening these. But for the most part, there's a little snug tight to them, so you just want to come down this bracket. You don't want to loosen these too much because this bracket is set to a certain height for this table to where it's perfectly even with this cut pad. So if you loosen it too much, this bracket could fall down, then you'd have to realign that. So the best way to do this is just loosen them all, like a half a turn each. Just go right down the line, and then you just... Once you loosen the half turn edge, you just see if your um, cut pad will come out. If it won't, then you just go about a quarter turn or half turn each time. And I'm just going to keep doing that process. I'll do the quarter turns now down the line on them and then just pull up on this, see if it pops out where it's coming. And it's still a little tight, so I'm going to loosen it a little more here. This is one where you gotta be very careful because you're trying to pull this up, and if it slips, you can you can hit hit, hit your thumb or fingers on this on this blade edge right here and, and cut yourself. So just be very careful on that. You loosen it up a little more if you need to. Don't don't be trying to force it out because then you got some. If it slips, you know your hands gonna come up and hit that. So just be very careful with that with that blade being sharp. So here this is. It's already. I'm gonna put it back the way it is because this is a new cut pad. It just because a slight cut edge in it. But just take it out and put your new one in. You can, or you can rotate. There's four sides to this, so you can rotate this to any one of the four sides. And just put your new one, or 
And one thing you want to do is slide it all the way to the left and down. Push it, make sure it's all the way to the left up against the frame there. And make sure it's all the way down. And you can feel it here if you're, make sure it's nice and flat where the, the um, paper would not hit in, hit this red cut pad if it came forward. And that's basically it. Now you just gotta come down and snug all these back down. And we'll go ahead and just kind of like you did the blade, go back and forth. I'll go ahead and pause this while we tighten all these down. Okay, I got them all tight. I just went down just to make sure they're all nice and tight all the way down back and forth on them. A little bit at a time on each one. Okay, now basically you're just going to slide this back into place. And it's just something you just lay on here. And just slide forward when it's nice and flat. And the last part, you usually got to use the palm of your hand just pop it into place. All the way forward. Just make sure it's all the way forward. And if for some reason this fell down, right now you want this just either even or just a hair below the red cut pad. You don't want it to where the paper comes forward and hits this. But as long as you didn't loosen it too much, it should still be in the same position. But if for some reason it was up, then you can tap that bar down that we loosened just a little bit or a little up to, to adjust the height of this table when it comes up against this red cut pad. But hopefully that didn't happen to you. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, everything's back together. We tighten the blade down. We tighten the bracket down that holds the cut pad. Put the table back in place. Now all we gotta do is put the crown back on. And just, just gotta pay attention to these. Make sure these wires are still plugged in again. Push them in. Those are your um, your light, light, laser lights. Just make sure this doesn't catch that wire and pull it or anything like that. Just kind of go nice and slow with it. This part here too. Let's see if you can catch that wire like that. So you gotta be careful. With it. Just make sure you get on the right side of it. I think we got this too. Pull it down. Catching the back table a little bit. I'm still catching it. There you go. And then one thing you gotta pay attention to when you're putting it on is make sure it comes on this side of the bracket. It's on the wrong side. There you go. And, and what I was, I was, it was catching the this table here, the edge of this thing, so I had to kind of pull this back so it didn't catch it. When I was putting it in, it was, it was landing on top of this, so I couldn't go down. But so move that back a little bit to get it in. And then from there, you just put your, your screws in. You got two, two Phillips screws on each side. Um, we'll start right there. And we'll go ahead and pause it while I finish putting these in. Okay, once you get done putting the screws in on the, on the top crown on the sides, you got those in. Everything looks, everything's back together again. And now I'm just going to turn it on, plug it back in, and turn it on here. I think you got it unplugged still. And, um... Just do a quick test kit, make everything look, should, should look good. Just do a once over on it, and then, and then just do a quick test. You can do it with paper too, but I just do this on that real quick. But everything looks good, just um, make sure everything's back in place and just be careful about not cutting yourself on that blade. Just always be aware that's, even when having trouble going through paper because it's a little bit dull, it's still razor sharp to the skin. It'll cut right through your skin, so just be very careful. Um, this video, Again, was published by mbkpinternational.com.